let's look at how to create a generic routing encapsulation or GRE tunnel using Cisco routers. So I have a couple of routers and I have set them up. None of them are really configured with anything other than a host name. What I want to do is first give them IP addresses using the scheme I've listed right here. And then after I have given them IP addresses, I set up a routing protocol to allow them to communicate with each other. Then I will create a GRE tunnel to show that we can send data all the way across using the tunnel and it will be less hops. So let's start with the first router. So the first router, log in right here. So I can see the IP address I want to use is the 192.168.0.0 network. So I'll give it the first one. Um, T in G0 slash 0 and IP address 192.168.0.1.255.255.255.0 and no shut. And after that, I want to just go ahead and put the routing protocol in as well. So I'm going to use OSPF. So do router OSPF and I'll just do number one network. And I want to just use everything. So I'll just do a big old catch all. And area zero. Okay. First one is out of the way. Now we'll go to the next one. Okay. This one has two interfaces. So I will go to the interfaces in G0 slash 0, which is the one that connects to router 1. And I will give it the IP address in the same network. So 192.168.0.2. And no shut. So liven up that interface. I'll go ahead and do the other interface as well. G0 slash 1. IP address 192.168.1.1. Give it a slash 24. And no shut on that side. Then I'll go ahead and exit out of there. And I'll set up the OSPF. Router OSPF 1. And network uh, 0000. zero, zero, zero. 255, 255, 255, area zero. So it puts everything in there. And I go end out of that one and go to my next router. This one is part of the same network. So call T and G0 slash one is on that side. IP address 192.168.1.2. Give it a slash 24 as well. No shut. So that one's live. And do the other interface. IP address 192.168.2.1. No shut. I will exit out. Exit out here. And I'll set the routing protocol as well. Router OSPF 1. Network area zero and out of there, and then the last router right here. zero is the interface IP address when I do that 168.2.2 give us slash 24 as well and no shut live and that went up and I will once again set up the routing protocol router OSPF one network zero 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 Two five five two five five two five five two five five. Oops, two five five. Area zero. At this point, I should be able to, assuming OSPF is sending everything across and everything's all synchronized, I should be able to look at the routing table and see all the way across. 
looks like it's taking its time. Let's go ahead and speed up time a bit. And I can now see my other interfaces or other networks. So I do a ping 192.168.0.1 and it can ping all across. And so now we're good. Now it's time to create my tunnel. So we are going to tunnel from router one all the way over to router four. So we open up router one and we want to set up our tunnel. So we can see that it leaves out of gigabit ethernet zero slash zero. It goes all the way across to the other side. So we're going to go ahead and do conf T and we're going to int tunnel zero. So in tunnel zero, we want to go ahead and set up everything. Our tunnel is going to be a GRE tunnel. So we do tunnel mode GRE, and we're going to carry IP traffic over the tunnel. And then we want to do our IP address for um, this to cross. And what I've listed here is I want to have the tunnel be the 172.16.0.0 network. So I will do IP address and 172.16.0.1 with a mask of 255.255.00. We don't need to do a no shut, but we'll do it anyway because we have a, a habit of always doing that. We just always put a no shut in there. And now we need to know where the tunnel starts and where the tunnel ends. So the tunnel starts right here at router one going out of giganet, gigabit ethernet zero zero and goes all the way across to the other side and it has an IP address on the other side that it's going to match up with. So we want to make sure that everything matches up correctly. So let's go ahead and set up our tunnel source. Tunnel source. And normally you can list an IP address. However, on these devices, it wants to just list the interface. So I do G0 slash zero. The tunnel destination, however, does have to be an IP address. So tunnel destination. And the IP address is going to be the one over here, which is the 192.168.2.2. All right, now this thinks that the tunnel is up. So we'll go ahead and go to the other side. On router four, we can go in on T. And we want to set up our tunnel again. We int tunnel zero. And tunnel mode is once again GRE, and we are going to be carrying IP traffic. We have our IP address that we want on our shared network. So IP address, which is 172.16.0.2. And we like doing a no shut, even though it doesn't matter. And then we're going to do tunnel source. And once again, normally you can do IP addresses, but this one requires you to do an interface. So G0 slash zero. And our tunnel destination. Destination is the other side, which is 192.168.0.1. So at this point, our tunnel should be up and ready to go. So it's time to test. If I wanted to ping all the way across, I could do that. If I want to do a trace, trace, I can do a trace as well. So I'm going to do a trace and I'm going to do 192.168.0.1. You can see it traces all the way across. You can see that the OSPF has kicked in already. And so my tunnel should now be part of the OSPF and it should show up in the tables. But when I was doing the trace to the 192.168 network, it does three hops. If I trace using the tunnel's IP address, trace 172.16.0.1, you can see it jumps straight across. So that's because it does not hit anything along the way over there. And I can show my routing tables as well. Show IP route. And you can see that the tunnel is in place and showing up as the 172.16 tunnel and you can see things are directly connected and then the other ones 
as well. Anyway, that's how you set up GRE on Cisco devices to tunnel across.